Hi everyone. This is Web Services Intro to AEM Video. Adobe Experience Manager, or AEM, is a content management system and over a hundred LSA departments are using it for their websites. A content management system is software that enables you to make changes to your website without having any background in coding or web development. Web Services manages the construction and maintenance of these departmental sites and then prepares LSA staff to take over site updates after a training program. Before we embark on this training, let's have a look around an AEM site in the authoring mode. To browse the site, we want to be in preview mode. The preview edit switch is in the upper right corner of your screen and you'll need to toggle it manually anytime you want to move to a different page for editing. We'll review the layout feature at a later time in the training. Here's the home page. The slideshow is the centerpiece for this site and all AEM sites in LSA. There's no limit to the number of slides you can put in it, but we recommend keeping your slideshow to between three and five images, with the one of highest importance being the first. You'll notice each slide includes a hyperlink title in boldface text and usually a caption beneath in plain text. Anytime you add a new image to your slideshow, adding a title and hyperlink to the slide is required. The link must take users to a page within your site. To the right of the slideshow, all sites have either a giving box or a splash box. Below that section, you will usually find an events feed and a social media feed. Below the slideshow, the latest two news stories will appear. Most other content on the home page is then customized by individual site editors. Now let's look at some of the types of content you can add to an AEM site. If you'd like to follow along, please choose the tab AEM Training Components Overview from the Audience menu. Before adding text or pictures to a page, AEM needs you to choose from several components which will display your text or images. Here's a brief overview of some of the most frequently used components. The accordion, which can expand and collapse and is designed to maximize space for text on a page. The asset gallery, which showcases a folder of images in thumbnail format. And when you click an image, it opens up in a light box. The button, one of the most widely used components, allows you to arrange clickable links neatly on a page. The image, which can display a picture from your assets folder. You have the option of adding links to images. The social media component, which is designed to display Twitter and Facebook feeds, but is also useful for a wide range of embed code. The For button, which allows you to create a set of four clickable links, and which you can gussy up with a picture in each button. We also have the text editor component, which displays a simple block of text, and the text and image component, which also displays text and allows the addition of a picture within that text. The size and position of the image are customizable and the text wraps around it. There is also a YouTube component specifically coded for adding a YouTube video to a page on your site. Most AEM sites in LSA also have a people page displaying the members of your department in a gallery format. This section is customizable and many of our users have created multiple subsections for faculty, staff, graduate students, and so on. Your sites have a section called News and Events, where both the news feed and the events feed are displayed, and under those you will find the main news page and the main events page. These sections are also customizable, and many of our users have created multiple subsections for specific categories of news or events. While almost all the content on your site is created by adding components to pages and then customizing those components, there is one exception, and that is the events feed. Your events feed is designed to pull events from the Happening at Michigan site, so you will have to create the events on that site, and then they will automatically appear on your AEM site. Good luck, and let's get started with the training.